In this video, I'm taking you along with me and showing you what I did this week. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to everyone who's new here. My name is Ashley Park, this is Park Avenue and I have tons of fashion content for you to check out. Outfit ideas, unboxing, styling videos, lifestyle content. If that's what you wanna see, you're in the right place. So be sure to subscribe and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads because I upload a few times a week and I don't want you to miss anything. For today's video, I'm taking you guys along with me for the week, hanging out with friends, eating out, lots of eating out, trying new restaurants, lots of fun, and I'm excited to share with you. But before we get into the vlog, I do wanna share with you guys some new pieces that I picked up from Nasty Gal. Thank you to Nasty Gal for sponsoring today's video. Let's get into this first look. Here's the first outfit I wanna show you guys, and it's a lot of fun. I'm really, really loving this pairing. So this top is a corset style top, but very comfortable. It's not stiff at all. It moves really nicely, very comfortable, and it has some good stretch. I love the zebra print. It's just a fun piece and something that's gonna be super cute under blazers, under a denim jacket. I just cannot wait to style this up a few different ways. It's a lot of fun. And then I just threw on this satin slip skirt. I love slip skirts, you guys. It's just an easy go-to. They're so flattering on curvy girls. They're flattering on, honestly, most body types. They're just an easy go-to piece. And again, you could pair this a lot of different ways. You could pair this skirt with a t-shirt, a tank top. Here, like I'm showing you, I really like the color pop. I love the zebra print paired with this really nice vibrant green. It just looks really nice together. So you can split them up and do a lot with them separately, but together they pair really, really well. Next up, I wanna show you guys this top. These sorts of tops are super on trend right now, and it's because they're so cute. They're very flattering. The way they taper to form a V is just so super cute, and it really complements the body shape. It's a really nice silhouette. Of course, you cannot go wrong with the beautiful print. I mean, we are in the last days of summer, so bring on all the prints, wear all your summer pieces, and have lots of fun, but don't be afraid to transition these pieces into fall because you can pair this with a blazer, and it'll be super cute. So hold on to those summer pieces because you definitely can bring them into fall with you, and this is one of them. And the colors on here are really great, so you can play around and get a fall vibe with this without fully committing to fall yet because it might not be cold where you are yet or it's not cooling down just yet. So you can definitely get somewhere out of your summer pieces and transition them into fall. One thing I love about this top is how you can make it work for you. So it has adjustable straps, which is great. And then you can also tie the back. You see the triangle in the front and then you tie it up in the back with these straps. And what's great is, like for me, I wear strapless bra with mine, so I just wrap the straps around the back of my strapless bra and then it hid my bra. But if you don't need to wear a bra at all, you can just tie these straps up into a pretty bow and there you go. So you can make it work for you and it also looks really cute under blazers if I didn't mention that already. These kinds of tops are so cute for that. Next up, I have a couple of graphic tees to show you guys. Now, the last few times that I showed you guys some graphic tees from Nasty Gal, you loved it. And I happen to really love them as well. They pair really nicely, just dress really casually, or you can throw blazers on over them. So I made sure to pick out some to show you guys for this video. And this first one I'm showing you is a beautiful pink. It's a really nice pink color. And then it has a really cute little message with a floral print on the front. It says fun in the sun. I mean, you can't go wrong. And we are holding on to these last bits of summer. So it's nice to have a fun print like that. But then you can also just throw on a blazer or a denim jacket and transition this when it gets a little bit cooler. So it's just always handy to have these sorts of t-shirts because you just never know. You can just throw them on and go for a lot of different occasions. You know, if you want to dress it up a little bit, you can throw on a heel and a, maybe a pair of like a trouser shorts or a pair of slacks. If you want to dress down a pair of slacks, throw it on with a t-shirt, you know? Throw on a blazer and there you go. Really cool. You can create really interesting office looks if you work in a more casual environment. I love a deconstructed suit, a t-shirt and a pair of sneakers. That looks great. Next up, here's the next graphic tee that I wanna show you, and I love this one. So this one is pretty oversized for me, but I'm okay with that, and I actually invite it because you can really customize it. So you can wear it with the sleeves, just how they naturally fall, easy breezy. I did a half tuck and call it a day, but what I also thought was really cool is that if you tuck the sleeves inside the top, it looks like a muscle tee. You can also cut it, you can customize it and do whatever you want with it, but I think it's nice to be able to just tuck it in so that way you can wear it as a muscle tee 
It has the exaggerated shoulder, but when you want to wear it just normally and casually, you can just untuck the shoulder. So I thought that was a really nice way to customize it and change it up. I love the print on here. I mean, it's just absolutely gorgeous, really fun. And you can pair it really easily with denim shorts. Again, you can pair it with slacks, but when I do wear oversized t-shirts, I tend to pair them with shorts. I think that's just a really nice compliment. But again, a t-shirt, you can just do so many things with it. Here's the last piece that I wanna show you guys, and I love this. This is a lot of fun. This is a sequin, and you can't go wrong with the sequin. I mean, it's just gorgeous. It's giving a little bit of drama, a lot of fun. It's a little short, so it's giving that flirty kind of a hemline. It's a button up, so it's kind of like a, just an oversized button up shirt but with sequins. I mean, talk about a wow factor. You can pair this with heels. You can also dress it down because sequins in the daytime, that's also super on trend. So if you want to bring those evening looks into the daytime, you can pair this down super easily. If you wanted to, you can treat it just like an oversized button up shirt, throw on either a pair of shorts or a pair of jeans and some sneakers, and you have yourself a really cute daytime look. But to bring it into the evening, go with a bare leg, and then uh, throw on a pair of heels, a cute bag, and you're good to go. So I love, love, love this, and I cannot wait to style this up. And I'm thinking about wearing it on the next date night because I think it's just too cute. So that's everything that I picked up from Nasty Gal. I will have links to everything I showed you guys in the description box. And I'll also link to some other cute pieces. And if something's not available, I'll try to link to something similar. And I'll also have sizing information for you guys in the description box as well. So be sure to check there. And if I have a coupon code for you guys to get any money off, I will also put that in the description box. All the information you're gonna need, I'll have listed there. But of course, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Now I'm excited to jump into the vlog, but before we do, it's time for today's Instagram shout out. And today I am shouting out Life with Shakisha. And she commented under my last reel and she wrote, oh my gosh, loving all the looks, got me ready to buy all the things. <laughs> Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. I love sharing like what's new in my wardrobe with you guys and like, showing you guys outfits and how you can style something over and over and over again. So I'm glad you are enjoying it and having a lot of fun because that's really what it's all about. Fashion should be fun. So thank you guys so much. And again, huge thank you to Nasty Gal for sponsoring today's video. Check the description box for all the info you guys are gonna need. Now let's jump into the vlog. Good morning, you guys. I'm actually about to film a video, so that's why my makeup is like only partially done. But we just got a package in for Farmer's Dog and I wanted to show you guys it because Gizmo really likes it. And I know a lot of you have dogs and animals. And I think they do cats as well. Anyway, he's been really loving the food. We did like a trial. And now we got like the um, like full commitment. We subscribe. Anyway, I just want to show you guys. Look at my look. Somebody's excited for their package. <laughs> so it comes packed up really nicely. They put everything in there. Oh, this ripped a little bit, but last time, they put these little bowls in here. I really don't know what they're for. I guess if you want to store the food in there, that's what we kind of concluded, but we just threw ours out. We didn't need it. So it comes with like a little feeding guide. It has Gizmo's name on it. His name is on all the packages. And then you put in like your dog's information and then they give you like, you know, like the meal plan and everything. So Gizmo got a few different flavors and then you give him half a pack a day. I'm sure they go by like weight and stuff like that. That's how they decide. But he's really been loving it. We just take a few out, put them in the refrigerator. What I think we're gonna do now is like cut it in half and then put them in the refrigerator, let them throw it out. And then we just give it to them. I let it get room temperature. I take it out like a little bit earlier in the day and then it gets room temperature. I don't reheat it or anything like that. And he loves it. Even one day I forgot to take it out and um, he ate it cold. He loved it that much. So I think it's worth checking out. We'll see. Fingers crossed he continues to love it because he gets really picky. Hey guys. So I am headed out per usual. I'm headed out and I wanted to show you guys my outfit. I'm actually headed to have some drinks and dinner with some girlfriends. We're celebrating one of our friend's birthdays today. So I put together something cute and I wanna show you guys. Now let me just show you what I'm wearing and then let me get out the door. All of a sudden the sky just opened up. It started raining so bad, but it looks like the sun is like peeking out a little bit. So I don't know, but it's, it's becoming evening. So it doesn't even matter by the time I get there. It doesn't matter. Hopefully it just doesn't rain anymore because I just don't want it to rain anymore. It was raining so hard that I was like, let me just wait until it stops a little bit. Anyway, let me show you guys this outfit. Okay, so here it is. And I really, really love it. I feel super comfortable. This top is from Lulu's. I am obsessed with it. It's giving me goddess vibes. I really, really love it. This is from a collab I did with Lulu's. If you missed it, then check it out because lots of cute pieces and denim. Found some good denim, you guys, and I think you're going to like it. So anyway, this top, love it. Very comfortable and loose. And then, of course... My favorite shorts. You guys have seen these so many times. 
and they're very comfortable. And then I have on this Saint Laurent bag. I'm wearing some old Tory Burch shoes. I like these a lot. I had a pair and I sold them and then um, I decided my mother was gonna get rid of her pair and I was like, oh, let me try those on and they fit me because they were actually too small for her. And the pair that I sold was too small for me. So I don't know why we did that, but I ended up with these and I really, really love this outfit. I think it's so cute and comfortable and I can sit and eat and feel good, but show a little midriff and be cute, you know what I mean? So I love this outfit and I'm excited. I'm probably going to throw in some slides or something to drive in. I don't like to drive in my heels. And that's it, you guys. I'm feeling kind of, uh, I don't know. I think it's because the rain. I was kind of sleepy. I stayed up really late last night. And for like for no reason, really, I didn't even need to stay up that late. And then I was really groggy and like tired this morning. So anyway, I think once I get out, have a couple of drinks, start having a good time, everything will be fine. So anyway, this is the look. Top knot. For accessories, I just went with very simple, my um Dior post earrings. I love these pearls. And then nothing on my neck because I'm wearing my crossbody and it's like a necklace. And then my pinky ring like always. And here I just have on, you know, a couple of little pieces. But I'll link everything for you guys in the description box. And that's it. And let me show you guys what I'm wearing as far as fragrance. I'm wearing Tom Ford Noir Extreme. It smells really, really good. I love it. It feels, it's like warm. And it's definitely like a sultry kind of a scent. Perfect for the evening. And one thing I wanted to know from you guys, let me know in the comments, uh, like the last few years, I can't spray perfume on my neck. All of a sudden, one day I started doing it and I started breaking out on my neck, no matter what fragrance it was. So now I just don't do it because I just think I'm gonna break out. And recently I've tried it again because I'm like, maybe I was going through something, but it happened again. So I just cannot spray fragrance on my neck anymore. So I just wondered if that was happening to anybody else or whatever the case is, but, and I'm a heavy sprayer. Like I love spraying, like I love spraying like crazy. But anyway, that's today's fragrance. This is the outfit, this is the look. And I can't fit my vlog camera in my bag, so I'm gonna vlog from my phone once I get to the restaurant. But, you know, I think it should be fine. So I'll show you guys what's going on when I get there. Let me head out now because I'm gonna have to drive slow just in case the sky opens up again. <laughs> my makeup looks really good. I feel like I should put on a lip liner though, but I can't find mine. Usually I wear my um, Charlotte Tilbury liner that goes with this lipstick and I cannot find it anywhere. So I'm gonna have to go with this. Yeah, I feel like I need a lip liner though. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a sec. They wanna see you drop, not in the drop top. Which top pops for the love of the guap? I got what I got, cause I rock, I rock. Hello guys, today is a new day and the last clip you guys saw is probably when I was at dinner. The food was so good, we went to the Betty and it was really good. I would highly recommend that place. I do wanna go back again just to be sure it was delicious because you know sometimes when you go somewhere once, you go back again and it's disappointing. But we had a great time, the food was so good. Um, I had the duck, it was really good and it came with like these um, like glazed cherries, like so good. They had a red snapper dish. It was more like an appetizer. A red snapper dish with roe. It was so good. It was giving me like a ceviche vibe, but not exactly. Like it was really fresh and like zesty, kind of like citrusy. Really good. I highly recommend that one. And it had like sort of a crispy like rice cake kind of a topping. So good. Everything was just really good. One of my friends, she had the pasta. That was delicious. Another one of my friends got the steak. That was delicious. Everything was just so good. So I would just highly recommend that place. And even the dessert was amazing. They had um, like a chocolate bar kind of a dessert and it had like a little bit of an ice cream and then like chocolate cake crumbles and it was so good. So everything was delicious. Fast forward to today and Winston and I are headed, I guess it's gonna be dinner because um, yeah, it's, it's around dinner time. It's still kind of early, but around dinner time so we're just gonna have dinner we're going to beetle cat i did call to make a reservation but we did it kind of like on the fly we're just leaving the house and we're just gonna go out and do some things and then we're like let's just go get something to eat and beetle cat is on our list so we're headed back there and you guys remember in one of the last vlogs we were trying to get into beetle cat but they um didn't have any availability not even at the bar so hopefully everything's good um you know they have a lot of seafood there and they do have a donut brunch on the weekend but um you know it's not the weekend so We'll go back another time. Yeah, so we'll let you guys know how Beetle Cat is when we get there. But we're just on our way there now. It's so hot. I wanted to sit outside, but it's just way too hot. 
so we're probably just gonna sit inside and chill and i'm exhausted i woke up super early this morning and i went to bed really late last night you know once i got back in i went to bed late but i am so tired like all of a sudden it's, i just feel like it hit me like a ton of breaks so i feel like my energy is kind of low and i haven't eaten since this morning so maybe that has something to do with it as well so <laughs> anyway i'm excited i'm hungry and i can't wait till we get there i also want to tell you guys that the betty had valet and it was only five bucks when i called ahead of time i maybe the um the, the woman who answered the phone maybe she was confused the concierge i'm not sure but they have hotel valet and then they also have valet for the restaurant because it's at the kimpton hotel and we pulled into the wrong valet initially, but we just went around the side of the building and it was the restaurant and it was only $5 to valet the car. And I think that's a big deal. I like to have valet when I go out. Um, you know, obviously I prefer if the place validates <laughs> the parking, but it's fine. It was only five bucks. So if you're, you know, wanting to visit, check it out because it was so cute too. It was like perfect for like a celebration or event or just like a date night. It was really, really cute. <laughs> Hi guys, so I am feeling way, way better. My energy is back up. <laughs> we just finished eating. We left Beetle Cat and it was so good. I would definitely recommend that place. I tried one oyster because like if you go between four, I think from four to five, they have like an oyster happy hour Monday to Friday. So I tried one of the oysters. It was really good. It was called uh, Mama Mia. It was so good. And then after that, we had the twice fried chicken thighs. That was really good. We just tasted it and we, we took the rest home because we had a lot of stuff. Then we also got um, like a red snapper or something like a ceviche, but not ceviche. Really good. Then what else do we have? Oh, fry bread. Oh, that fry bread was so good. That fry bread was delicious. It was kind of sweet on the outside, but then really savory and kind of like salty when you like were like in the middle of the bread. Really good, light and fluffy, but crisp. Winston said it tastes like a, um, like a funnel cake, but like savory, like a savory funnel cake. For my food, I got the lobster roll. I asked him to warm it. I wanted mine warm, I didn't want it cold. It was really good, but um, the waiter said they serve at room temperature most of the time, so you could do that. And then Winston got the um, roasted branzino, and that was really good. All the food was delicious, highly recommend it. And then for dessert, we got the coconut pie. Chef's kiss, it was bomb, that was, it was banging. Like, it was everything, and if you love dessert, make sure you save room for that because it was really good and i thought it was gonna be like a coconut cream pie which i'm not into because coconut cream pie honestly it's just like it just looks to me like a slice of whipped cream and this was like a really nice like chewy it was just good like i would highly recommend it and it had a graham cracker crust and like a house made chantilly whipped cream i think is what they called it it was really really good so good recommend everything and they also do brunch and they have like house made donuts and I heard those are really banging, so we have to come back another time for those, but it was really good. Definitely recommend. I'm happy, I'm full, I'm fed, and now we're gonna figure out what we're gonna do next. I got some packages today. Um, my Zara order came in, and then I got another package. I don't know what it is, so if I can show you guys, I will show you. And that's about it, so I'll just check in with you guys in a sec. Hi, guys. Back in the car again and on my way to take some photos. Today, um, I wanted to squeeze in a couple photos because this top that I'm wearing is from a collab looks familiar because I already wore it but I love it so much but now I have to photograph it along with some other pieces and you guys will see that soon and then after that we're gonna head home we actually went to the mall but I didn't go inside I sat in the car we had to get something and then after that later on today we're going to like this it's a birthday celebration but it's like an outdoor um like relay race kind of thing <laughs> it's gonna be like a bunch of outdoor activities I think I'm gonna vlog some but we'll see how it goes and then that's pretty much it and i told you guys before that i had some packages i need to open um i have to see what they are and then if i can show them i will of course some things are from zara so i'm going to give you guys like a whole zara video but yeah so let me check it with you guys in a sec we just um we're on the road now so i need to get to the location and then take some photos and then i'll check in with you guys after hey guys so it is a little while later and we headed to that um outside relay race birthday celebration that i told you guys about before so i'll just check in with you guys in a bit um it looks like it's gonna rain again it rained a little bit already so we'll see but um yeah i'll get some clips of the activities hopefully it's not too hot out yet <laughs> Will you hide it? Eh? Uh, you're trying to 
Hi you guys, so today is a new day. I had a lot of fun at the the celebration yesterday that I went to. Um, there was, you know, it was just like a cookout. It was, it was really just like a cookout and they had some games like relay races. I didn't participate in any of the games, I didn't play, but it was a lot of fun to watch and we just chilled and everybody had a good time. So that was really good. And it wasn't so hot yesterday because it was around like, it started out like around like 5, 5.30. And you know that usually is like the hottest part of the day. So I was like, oh no, I'm gonna melt out there. And we were taking photos right before we left, so I didn't even have time to like wash my face and everything. So I was wearing makeup, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm going to melt. But it really wasn't bad. It was it rained a little bit, but I wasn't worried about that because, you know, I have my braids in. So overall, we had a great time. And I forgot to show you guys my outfit, but I was wearing, um, I had on one of those Adidas, like, tennis dresses. You guys saw it in one of my Adidas videos. I did, like, a, a gifted campaign with Adidas, and they sent me a bunch of stuff, so I'll link to that video if you guys want to check it out but i really love that little tennis dress and i'll link that dress in the description box if it's still available i also have it in pink but i got the pink one from nordstrom but yeah i really really love that outfit and then i just wore some um, adidas sneakers with it but yeah it was really cute very comfortable and perfect for the occasion so i just finished having some coffee and i was about to open some packages and i figured you guys wanted to see what i got too these are some PR packages. One of them already opened because I already wore one of the pieces that was in here and I loved it and I figured you guys would wanna know about it. So first I have some bras. Way Cole reached out to me and wanted to send me some bras. I picked out some that I've never tried before. I wanted to make sure that they were some that I've never tried because I love their strapless bra. You guys already know that in my like shapewear video. I'll link that video if you guys wanna check it out because there's some good information in there. But I do really enjoy their bras. They're strapless bras, and so when they reached out to me, I was like, oh yeah, for sure, I wanna try some of the other ones. So they sent me five of them, and one of them is a sports bra, or maybe a couple, actually, I didn't even look through them, and I don't remember what I picked out, but I wore this sports bra to the event yesterday, and you guys, I love it. I already ripped off the tag, and I don't know what I did with it, so I don't know the name of it to tell you right now, so I'll have it linked in the description box. But what I loved about it is that it's like a regular sports bra, and the fact that it like looks like a, the band, you know how they look across the top, but it has, underwire so it keeps you know keeps things separate and i really like that because you know with a regular sports bra if you have any kind of bust at all it gives you like a uniboob which is really annoying and i just don't love that so i really enjoyed this one i recommend it i'll leave it in the description box um once i figure out what the name is so this next one i picked out actually they don't have names on them at all so i'll have to just link them in the description box for you guys but i picked out one that was just you working on I'm vlogging or trying to vlog. But Gizmo keeps tapping outside the door. And then here you go. Okay, so today's a busy day than I thought. We having the roof guy come, the yard man is coming, and then my bag is coming. I ordered a bag from Fashion Fall, you guys, and I cannot wait to get to here. I'm so excited. Because it's just, I really, I don't want to tell you guys too much about it because I'm going to unbox it and do like a whole video or whatever, but I'm just really excited. All right, so anyway, let me go back to the bras. These, this is another one that I picked out. None of them have the names on it, so I'm going to have to just link them for you guys if you're interested. And I know you guys are interested because we love some good underwear. We good, love some good shapewear over here. So I know you guys will be interested. Okay, so this one says Ultimate Lift. Oh, it says Lift's bust line up to one inch. Okay. But it doesn't say the name of the bra. But anyway, I'm really into these like mesh style bras. Something like less structured. I'm really into that right now. Like even the one I'm wearing right now. These, this is one of the Chantel bras I told you guys about in that video that I mentioned. I love them. And they are lacy, so I do wear like a thicker, um, anything that I wear over it is like black or something that you can't see the lace through it, which this shirt is perfect. This is a t-shirt from Lulu's. You guys probably already saw that video. I love all the pieces that I got from Lulu's and this shirt is just so good. Anyway, so I'm really into these like less structured kind of bras. They just, I don't know, they just feel so comfortable and which is so funny because I used to only love a very structured cup, but now I'm into these and they're just so pretty, you know what I mean? Very comfortable and everything. So I love this one. Excited to try it out. Then, okay, so this one is more like, kind of like what I'm wearing right now. This is like full lace, kind of a bra, not mesh, but this one says ultimate comfort. So we'll see about this one too. I really love that. And then as I'm, you know, we're getting into the cooler months. I mean, it's still very hot outside, but... You know as we're getting into the cooler months you tend to wear like chunkier fabrics more layering whatever so 
I don't have to be so concerned about the lace or anything like peeking through my sweaters or my thicker tops. And now this one is more on the structure side. You can see like this cup is more structured, but I don't like any padding, anything extra, nothing like that. So I like this one a lot. It's, I wanted this one for like a t-shirt bra. This one doesn't say the name either. So again, I'll link everything for you guys, but I wanted to try out the t-shirt bras because I do have some other ones from Way Cold that I really like and I shared those with you guys, but they have some others that I wanted to try, so. And then I needed a race to back bra. I actually really, really needed one. I have one, but I never reached for it. And it has structure cups. I wanted to try something that didn't have the structure cups just to see. It snaps, has the like front snap closure. And I love these, they're so comfortable. And I just really, really needed one. And I really like how the racer back is because sometimes I find racer back bras that I like, but the back of the bra comes up really high. Does that happen to you? Like some of the, these racer back bras come up so high that even when I'm wearing them, you can't see the straps, but then you see it coming up the top of the, the shirt, which is like, okay, what was the point? But anyway, I like this one. It has like a little bit of lace on the shoulder. So I'm excited to see. I'll link all those for you guys. But I got them in all like I got all black and I think I might have picked out some nudes. I'm not even sure, but I love those so far. I gotta try them one to be sure. But now this next box says that is from Tangle Teaser. So let's see what's in it. Oh, this is so cute, you guys. And you know how much I'm like loving like purple lilac shades right now. So this is so pretty. But I like this. It says Tangle Teaser, it has their Instagrams. And then it has it says bad hair days ain't nobody got time for that and they are right about that and i do really love the tangle teaser brush that i have right now um i don't know maybe they might have one in here and i'll show it to you guys because it's in the bathroom and i don't feel like going to get it oh you guys so cute i really am a sucker for packaging so just put something together nice and i'm gonna like it <laughs> but inside the box it just has you know a little bit of a message tangle teaser is the world's is the world famous hairbrush brand a force to be reckoned with when it comes to detangling, blow drying, and styling hair. And I do really enjoy the Tangle Teaser that I have, so they might be right about that. So it's a little pamphlet that tells you all about the brushes that they have. Oh, hair goals. They have some stickers. I love these. <laughs> and I always say that when I'm doing my um like my content planning or even just working on my planner at all, I want to use like little stickers. So I'm really I like these. I think they're so cute. I'm gonna use them when I'm doing my planning, which I'm actually gonna be doing today. Ooh, a lip balm. We got a little EOS lip balm. I could always use lip balm because I want to keep one in the bedroom in in uh, the studio. I like to keep them in the car, but it's been so hot they're gonna melt. And actually, there's one melting in the car right now. <laughs> Winston likes to keep one on the driver's side, and his is melting. All right, so let's get into the brushes. They sent me one, two, three, four brushes. Let's see. This one says professional finishing hair brush for smoothing and shine and hair extensions. Not to be used with heat. This is the ultimate finisher. I actually wanted this brush. I was in, I think I was in Ulta and they had, you know, they have a good selection of Tangle Teasers and I was interested and really curious about this brush. So we're going to try that one. Oh, this is the one I love. Okay, so this is the one I have and I do really love this one. This is the detangling hairbrush, ideal for wet hair. And when I am um, just, when I'm washing my hair at home, I love this brush. It really works and it doesn't hurt. I'm very tender headed and it doesn't hurt at all. So this one is cool. I'm glad they sent me another one of these because actually I want to give one to my mother. And then next up, it's a little, um, this is a scalp exfoliator and massager. Oh, I love that. So it says the power's in the teeth and it's, it looks like it's built in a way where you just put your hand in it and then you can use it like that. So I like that. This is really nice. And it good, it's good for like stimulating hair growth and things like that. So this is cool. Oh, and then next up, this is like the classic one I always see. And this is for thick and curly hair. And I know they have um, they have different versions. I've seen them. So longer teeth for thicker hair. Oh, that's good. So detangling hairbrush with firm flex technology for thick, wavy, and coarse hair. So this is nice. And I like that everything is kind of like purpley. I love that. And the last thing they sent me was this water bottle. It's a Silo H2Go, which is actually good because I just love to have water bottles on hand. Oh, so cute. <laughs> it's a really pretty blue and it says Tangle Teaser on it. So that's it. Those are the two PR packages that I got in, in the mail recently. And then I also got some stuff in from Zara, which I'm not going to open because um, you guys are going to see that video too. So I don't want to show you double, show you twice. But yeah, today I'm just going to run, run errands, uh, clean. I have to do some cleaning and organizing and, you know, kind of like a reset. So that's what I'm going to be doing today and planning because um, I have a few videos I want to get together. And um, Winston's mom is actually coming to visit. 
I guess that'll be either the next vlog or maybe the vlog after the next. I'm not sure, but that's going to be exciting. You guys will get to meet her and we got some stuff planned. So that's going to be cool. So also I want to get the house like, you know, like in good order <laughs> because we are still doing so much construction. You know, it's like it's just a little bit unorganized. So I just want to get everything together. And then, like I said, oh, maybe you might have heard the guys coming to look at the roof. And then um, we're having someone come to look at the yard. We're gonna get a quote because we have we have not touched like outside. Besides, once we're pulling up a couple like bushes in the front of the house, we haven't really done any yard work or anything like that because first of all, we just really need to get the inside in order. Like we still have so much to do. Upstairs is almost complete. And then he has to start working downstairs, like the fireplace, the living room, it's more painting. And um, you know, we got a lot of baseboards <laughs> in this house. So he'll be doing that. So we'll still be pretty busy, honestly, the rest of the year with this house, which is fine. We know we were taking on, you know what I mean? But we took a little break because it just was a lot, you know, staying on top of work and content and then also doing the housework. So we just had to take a second. But, you know, we're going to take our time. I'm really not in a rush. So, but I am excited to tackle the outside because I do really want to use the yard and stuff because the weather's cooler now. And I really, really want to use the yard. And... You know, Gizmo, I want him to just have a space where he can run around and not, I don't have to be worried or concerned about anything. So once we get the yard in order, he can spend some more time out there. Because now, like when I take him outside, you know, he can run. We have a, a larger front yard, which is cool, but I just don't want him to go in the, neighbor, in the neighbor's yard, you know. And my neighbors are cool, but and they actually really like him, but I just don't want him in their yard. So um, that's really it. So today's going to be a busy day. Oh, and we have to drop off closet sale orders. We're going to UPS. We're going to drop those off. You guys, there were so many closet sale orders. Thank you guys so much for shopping the closet sale. Some of you DM me. I got some really good feedback on the pieces that you guys received. I'm really happy you're enjoying them. But yeah, we're, like I said, in many of the videos that I've like talked about the closet sale, we're not even almost finished uploading things. So just check back frequently because there's always going to be more stuff added, you know, as we go. And honestly, you guys, like, there's just going to be more stuff. <laughs> so just stay tuned for that. And yeah, so I am going to run some errands today. And if anything happens, I'll just show you guys today. But I'm just going to go with the flow as far as vlogging today. So anyway, I will see you guys in a bit. Talk to you soon. Here are all the closet sale orders that are going out today. Thank you guys so much for shopping the closet sale. This is honestly the biggest batch of orders I think I've had since the closet sale started. And it seems like you guys are just getting started because the orders keep going, coming in. So thank you guys so much. And order shipping out. All right, you guys. So I, we just dropped off the packages at the UPS store, and the funniest thing just happened. And that's probably why my bun is like shifted because I was sitting in the car. I helped me and Winston brought the packages in the UPS store, right? So then when I dropped everything off, we forgot the mailbox key. So he was waiting to have the guy open the mailbox to see if anything was in there. So I go back in the car. I'm sitting in the passenger side, but we pulled up to like where they drop off packages, like the fire lane. So we're really not supposed to be parked there. So anyway, the fire truck comes, I see them coming down. So I'm like, oh, let me move the car. So I hurry up. I'm like such in a rush to move the car because I don't want to slow down the fire truck. I ran around the car and I like pull open the door to get ready to sit down and I'm sitting in the back. <laughs> I literally opened the back seat and sat down like, if I was trying to hurry up and get out of the way of the fire truck, I literally made it worse. It was the funniest thing. I wish I was recording the whole time because it was the most ridiculous thing ever. That was hilarious. So, anyway, dropped off the packages. Now we're headed to, we're going to get something to eat. We just decided we're going to check out Politan Road. It's a new food hall that they have in Midtown. And um, I just want to go there. I haven't been and I'm hungry. So, we're going to check that out. And then we're probably going to go to Ikea. I need some baskets for the hallway closet to put like hair products and things like that in. And then we also are thinking about putting like a, um, some maybe a pack system or some sort of like shallow shelving unit in the hallway, the upstairs hallway as well. So we're gonna figure that out, but that was so funny, I had to tell you guys. So we just on the road right now. So I'll check in with you guys once we get to Bolton Road. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you guys. I mean, I'm not gonna show you. I'm gonna show you once I do the actual mention in my video, but I got a new package from Ana Luisa, and I know you guys love the Ana Luisa pieces. So I'm really excited because I've noticed that they have added a bunch of new things to the website. So I'll have the link in the description box if you guys wanna check it out. Um, yeah, but I'm excited to see all the pieces that I got this time, and I'm excited to show you guys. So stay tuned for that. Because I know sometimes you guys have asked me, like in the past and on live recently, you guys asked me like what collabs I have coming up. So. I mean, I really don't like to talk about them until they're like 
done and officially out, you know, about to go live. But I know you guys love Anna Luisa and I do enjoy the pieces, so that's coming up soon. And it's so cute here. I would definitely recommend coming just for photos alone. We're gonna get something to eat and uh, there's a bunch of places to try, so we gotta figure it out. They got a barbershop over here. What? Hi guys, so you guys know we're in Politan Road just checking out some food places. We haven't found them yet. But we were just walking past and I saw Sharon from Array of Faces. She was doing a photo shoot and I thought her outfit Hi. was just incredibly <laughs> fabulous and I know you guys would love it. So I figured I'd stop by and say hello. I'm just a fashion and lifestyle blogger, content creator, Array of Faces. Check me out. I'll have all her information in the description box so you guys can check her out. I got what I got Hi guys, we just finished at um, Politan Row and we had a blast. Such a good time. You guys already saw that I met another content creator. Her outfit was first of all so cute. So you guys already saw that. And then we had some drinks at, um, you know, like at the actual food hall. I had the nachos, we had some tacos and everything was really good. I did enjoy the tacos better than the nachos, but everything was good. And we're definitely gonna go back and check it out. I mean, if you're looking for places to take photos, the whole place was photographable. I saw actually another person taking some photos um, while we were there, but everything was really good. And the drinks that we had, so we met a bartender right in the center of the food hall. They have a bar and we met a bartender named Sharita. She was so sweet, very nice, very accommodating. She had great customer service and she was just really like a joy to talk to. And she actually made us a drink. It was just a drink that she made up. She described it to us and we were like, let's try it. It has great fruit in it, it's very refreshing, and it has a little bit of gin in it. Really, really good. So she didn't have a name for it, so now it's called the Park Avenue. So if you guys are at Palatine Row and you go to the food hall, ask for Sharita and tell her that you want a Park Avenue. I'm telling you guys, you're gonna love it. If you love grapefruit, you're really gonna enjoy the drink. Very refreshing and so perfect for right now. It was just a cute little drink and it's kind of like pink, you know what I mean? So I thought it was so cute. But we really had a great time. Definitely check it out. And if you guys go to the bar at Politan Road, ask for Sharita. So now we are headed to Ikea back on the path. That's really where we like intended to go, but we made a little stop. So now we're going to Ikea. We're going to see what they have in terms of like shelving and all of that. And that's it really. So I'll check in with you guys in a second. All right guys, so we're in Ikea and I, we found a cool little hack for my Alex drawers because I was going to get rid of them but I still need jewelry storage and like sunglass storage. And even though I'm still figuring out, the hack that I found on YouTube, well, Winston found it, is actually a really, really good idea. So the two Alex drawers are gonna be like flanked on the sides and then in the middle, it has like the jewelry feature where you can pull out the tray. So you can, you can either put jewelry or sunglasses or both, you know, whatever you wanna do. But I think that'll be really cool. So it'll be like my vanity slash jewelry slash sunglasses in the meantime until I figure out like what I wanna do all together. But, I'll show you guys when it's like completely finished, but it looks kind of like this. It's gonna have this glass top, like, you know, when you, you know, you can see like you pull the jewelry out of it. So it's gonna have this glass top, but it's gonna have this tray insert like this. So once just said they don't have it, he just checked on, the, on his phone. And that's the problem we've been having. That's why we have to keep coming to Ikea because they never have anything that we're looking for. So I have to figure that out, but I thought it was a really good idea if you have some Alex drawers. So whenever I'm able to do it, I'll show you guys if I'm able to do it. Cause when it comes to the time where I have to figure out what I'm gonna do, like figure out what I'm gonna do with all my stuff, then I don't know, I might have to go with something else. But I really like that idea since I already have the Alex drawers and I wanna repurpose them. So we'll see. I'll just show you guys when I go do it. All right guys, so we just left Ikea and it was kind of a bust. They didn't have what I was looking for, but they did have a couple of baskets we needed for the whole way. I mean, that's really why we came for the baskets, but I did also want that pull out storage unit for like jewelry and sunglasses but they didn't have it so we got what we came for um but that was it so now we're gonna head home and then um you know take care we need to take care of around the house actually i really have like a strange like craving for tea so i want to have a cup of tea and chill out for a second and then just like tidy up and do all the things i was supposed to do before we left the house but yeah that's it so i'll just check in with you guys in a sec hello you guys today is another day I was filming videos all day today and I'm super tired and we're really hungry. We actually just dropped me, my mother off at the airport. So now we are headed to a place called Little Trouble. I've heard about this place before, but we've never tried it. So 
I hope the food is good. I think the way it was described on TikTok was it was like an Asian street food mix with like a futuristic vibe. So we'll see. I'm hungry, so I hope they have like good dumplings or something like that. Um, so we're headed there now, so I'll take you guys with me. And we just want to chill. day and the last clip that you saw we were out Winston and I went out for dinner and drinks we actually were trying to go to Little Trouble but we couldn't go there they were taking reservations and nothing was available until like a, for like another couple hours we were really hungry so we walked around to this Italian place and it was so good they didn't have any reservations for like table seating but they had space available at the bar and to be honest I think that was like the best way to go because at the bar it was really comfortable it was kind of cozy the ambiance was nice the bar was nice and wide, so it was almost like we were sitting at a table. We had an awesome bartender. He was really good. He made us one of his drinks, and I think it was called Canoe Table or something like that. He was really good. He was very knowledgeable, and the food was delicious as well. Um, I had chicken. Well, Winston and I, we kind of shared. We had like chicken and some pasta. It was so good. We definitely want to go back, and we definitely want to have the same bartender because we want to try some of his other drinks. So yeah, we had a good time there. And then afterwards we had some ice cream. There's a, a Jenny's ice cream over there as well. The area we were in is called West Side Provisions. It's in West Midtown. They have a little shopping area, it's a bunch of stuff over there. And then across the street from where we were, they also have a, um, a putt putt, some putt golf or something like that. It's like a mini golf experience. It has like, it's kind of like arcade style is the vibe that I was getting, but we wanted like really good food and we wanted a vibe. So or a different kind of vibe, so we didn't want to go there. But we will check it out another time. And that was pretty much it when we got home. We just chilled out, relaxed, fell asleep because this morning we had to take the car for an oil change. That's pretty much it, you guys. That's another weekly vlog. And I will pick you guys up again and probably, probably tomorrow or the day after that, I'm going to start another weekly vlog. So if you guys are enjoying this content, let me know in the comments and I'll keep going. So I had a lot of fun doing it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you made it this far and you are not yet a subscriber, what are you waiting for? I would love to have you. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh.